girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Ray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another beautiful day full of tea. Another, what is today? Like Wednesday on July? Girl. I don't know, summer got me like everywhere. Um, I hope that every single one of you having an amazing day and it is time to start with some amazing, beautiful tea from Vanderpump Rules because apparently, allegedly, the war on the street is that things are not being very cute and nice between the Toms. Mm-hmm. So, this is, I mean, uh, the rumors on the street that, you know that Tom Schwartz did say that he was, like, taking a break from the friendship uh, with Tom Sandoval, you know? He said it on interviews, he said it on Stars on Mars, which, by the way, I never finished watching. Is that still, that thing still on? Because I don't remember. But anyways... Uh, he said about it, he talked about it on Star on Mars. He was very, you know, kind of like finally opening his eyes a little bit and saying like, this shit kind of like ruined my life, you know? And he was very opening to say, I'm not a bad person. I did. I wasn't the one who had an affair. I wasn't the one who abandoned everyone. I wasn't the one who betrayed everyone, you know, like... Why is everyone going up against shorts when the bad person was just Tom Sandoval? You know, and I think that right there really helped him like understand, you know, that maybe he was giving so much into this friendship and he was definitely not getting the same because there was it that as soon as things went to shit, Tom Sandoval decided to just leave the restaurant and leave everything and go and keep playing, you know, wannabe wedding singer, you know, and left Tom Schwartz like, like there, right? So there has been, you know, all, the, all of these reports that Schwartz definitely it's feeling a certain kind of way. Now, mind you guys that it's a little bit hard to say that you're going to be over a relationship, especially when you really, really love that person, you know? I mean, Sandoval is a brother to Schwartz. They have been together through so much and it's not, I mean, I personally am not expecting for Schwartz to be like, you know, ah, oh, fuck you, you know, I will never going to talk to you again or this or that. I don't think that's the relationship, especially given the way Schwartz uh, behave and his personality, I don't think that that's what's going to happen. But I do think that he is going to start being a little bit more, okay, I definitely need to put boundaries, you know? Or maybe like, okay, now I know until where I can go with Sandoval, you know? Like, you kind of like a, a hard lesson to learn. So now that they're back filming and Sandoval is back filming, you know, apparently there has been no ones, but multiple times where they have been having conversations on camera where Shorts has been like very, um, it's not, I'm not loud, but it's very kind of like expressive of his feelings, you know, and kind of like even feeling a little bit frustrated with everything, you know. And um, it, it, a lot of, you know, a lot of things with the restaurant, a lot of things with, you know, the personal side. And I think that it's because maybe he, he was expecting Sandoval to, to be like, man, I saw the things that you say out there. I'm so sorry that you're feeling this way or forgive me or, you know, I made a mistake or, you know, kind of like taking any kind of like account, accountability. And I think if... I know Sandoval as, you know, we know him. He's probably not taking any account of it. You're not saying absolutely anything. So he's, so, you know, he's probably being like, I don't know, gas, trying to gaslight Schwartz or something and being like, stop being, you know, so dramatic or something. And now that Schwartz, you know, kind of like reached a different side of the friendship, now he's probably needing that validation, you know, which is where, 
a lot of things could go wrong, you know. At some point, I think that Schwartz is going to realize, I mean, if, if Sandoval doesn't give anything, you know, if he doesn't, like, like take accountability, ask for forgiveness or any of that, I think Schwartz is definitely going to realize, like, oh, you know what, maybe this friendship was not as real as he thought that it was going to be, which it's it will be heartbreaking for Schwartz, you know? I can see Sandoval completely, you know, being manipulative and using Schwartz for years for his own advantage, you know? And, yeah, sadly, you know, Schwartz's personality is, you know, he's a, he's a people pleaser, he likes to be kind of like he's not an alpha you know so he kind of likes to be behind you know and that, that i i get it you know i i understand his personality so so i don't know if if he's gonna get what he's expecting from sandoval to be very honest with you but now you know according to the reports they are moving into this place where Schwartz is being a little bit more vocal, you know, and, and he's definitely putting things out there and, and, and telling Sandoval how he feels. And I don't know. I, I'm, I'm like, I don't think Schwartz will ever gonna like stop caring and loving Sandoval, but definitely is going to put a strain on the relationship, you know, and things could possibly change. And if it's true that Jack Taylor is joining the show you know and, and he's also going to be like having conversations with Schwartz and then of course everyone else is gonna try to have you know a conversation with Schwartz I think this friendship could be doomed you know uh, I don't know I don't know I mean ugh, it's so complicated when you get into this when like it's you against the world you know and and it's hard because I think I don't want to be the one that says fuck it all, you know, like, fuck Sandoval, you know, fuck that friendship, because I have been on that side when you have, to, when you want to fight for a friendship that is so important to you and that you really, really love it, you know, and I know what it feels when it doesn't work out, and it definitely, it's like a death, it literally breaks your heart, you know, and I don't want that for shorts, but sometimes it's what is needed, I don't know. So anyways, that's what is going on right now. Apparently, there are also rumors that sometime next week there will be a scene where everyone is going to be in it, including Sandoval and Rachel. Yeah, we don't have too much details about that. That's the only thing that I heard, that everyone is going to be there at a place, you know, that required a reservation. So that is going to be interesting. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that Schwartz and Sandoval will ever be over or what is going to happen there? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. I have my new podcast, Let's Talk About This Mess, dropping episodes every Monday with very special guests and very exclusive tea. And you can check it out on Patreon. The link is on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.